the beginning of Paul's journey to Roma. And, as it was determined that we sailed to Italy, they delivered Paul and some of the other prisoners to a centurion by the name of Julius, of the Augustan court. And when we had sailed on a ship of Adramath, which was about to sail in demand of the harbors along the coast of Asia, we made our way to the sea, while we were with Aristarchus, a Macedonian from Thessalonica. The next day we arrived at Sidon, and Julius, treating Paul kindly, allowed him to go and see his friends and receive the necessary care. Act 27 1-3. Dear brothers, Paul begins his journey to Rome. He left Caesarea, as a prisoner, and being accompanied by other prisoners, was being led by a centurion, named Julius, and a few more soldiers who escorted the prisoners. On this trip, she started a few days before winter, and when they started the trip, everything was fine, the ship, besides carrying people, was also a freighter, carrying wheat and food, with its maximum load capacity, totally occupied. Saying to them sirs, I see that the journey will be with breakdown and much loss not only for the cargo and the ship, but also for our lives. But the centurion gave more credit to the pilot and owner of the ship than to the things Paul said. Not being the proper port for wintering, the most of them were of opinion that if they went to the sea to see if somehow they could reach the Fenis, a port of Crete that looks to the northeast and to the southeast, to winter there. Acts 27 10-12 They had already traveled for some time, and had arrived at a place called Bones Portus, near the city of Lachia, they began to notice that the winds had changed. And that port was not an ideal place to spend the winter. So they decided to continue to reach Phoenicia, in the port of Crete, to face the winter there. And they continued on the voyage, but there was a great storm, and they had many difficulties already in the beginning, after they had left the place of good ports, 